much for tuning in to Charlani TV. If you want to know how I made this amazing cookie right here, look at that. Just keep watching. When I start baking, I like to have everything kind of out and ready for me to go. So I look at the recipe and I'm gonna show you my secret here in just a second. But I've got everything out here. The milk chocolate and semi-sweet morsels, this is what we use as our chocolate chips and I just do half and half, it's my favorite. We have some butter here, I get out the vanilla, we've got our baking soda, brown sugar, regular sugar, oatmeal, flour, I obviously have my KitchenAid mixer, and then I also have these all ready to go. I love these, so you can call them sill pats, baking pats. Um, these ones specifically, I absolutely love and I'll link them for you down at the bottom. If it's something that you need or are interested in, these are my favorites. The Kitsini brand is the best, in my opinion. But I've even got my spoon here ready to go. So like I said, I like to have everything out and ready for me. You guys ready for my secret? It is this right here. This recipe, but it is not oatmeal raisin. I tweak this up just a little bit, but this is my base. And this is what I'm gonna go off of until we get to the end and I will switch it up and change up some of those ingredients right there. But I will link my recipe down in the description box for you as well. So let's get into this. My oven is preheated to 350, so we're ready to go. And in the microwave, I have our butter that I am softening. I put it in for about 30 seconds at 50, like the 50 power, <laughs> so half power. And just to soften it, we don't want to melt it completely. That changes the texture of your cookie. And we still want them to be a little bit firm, yet a little bit soft. So softened butter is the key. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.
oven baking up. So while we're waiting for those, I will show you. So I personally love keeping my baking goods in their own little airtight canisters. And what I do, because obviously sometimes you need directions that are on the box, the way that I get around that is I just cut it out of the box and I add it here. And you can see the Quaker Oats, that's the lid. I just cut it out and I stick it in here so I always have them. But that's the recipe I use. And instead of, I omit the cinnamon all together and I don't know, maybe it would be good with cinnamon. Maybe you can try that and let me know. Um, but instead of raisins, I add chocolate chips. And I add two cups. You can add as many as you want. If you want more, use more. If you want less, use less. That is what is awesome about having like a base recipe and then you just tweak it as you go. You tweak it to create something that you and your family will love. We've got about three minutes left and I'm just cleaning everything up and oh my goodness, I made a mess today. <laughs> So good, so good. Look at that. <laughs> All right guys, thanks so much for joining me in today's video and if you try these amazing cookies, I would love for you to come back and let me know in the comments. So thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to Sherlani TV, I would love it if you did. Bye guys.